So yeah, after seeing um, everything I've seen online, yeah, left for me, I, I didn't, I wouldn't want to come and explain anything because at the end of the day, you know, when I decided to say, when I took the decision to say, I do, I didn't consult anybody. It was my choice. It was my decision, right? But I felt it was it was necessary for me to speak on two things. I don't want to go naked in the market with her. She has said a lot of a lot of lies about me, about my friend. You know, but like people say, now only only who wear shoe. Now I know where the pain are. I'm not really much of it. I don't like talking plenty at all. Um, this woman that I married, I knew she was crazy. I know, said, bro, oh, this babe, this woman, she's crazy. But what I didn't know is the extent of the craziness. How far can she go to bring me down? That's the only thing I didn't know. She's very manipulative. She's a psychologist, so she's very highly manipulative. She's highly insecure. Those two ones first. She likes to bring confusion. She speaks from two sides of her mouth. She will say one thing here, say another thing there. She likes to bring confusion. She speaks from two sides of her mouth. She will say one thing here, say another thing there. You people don't know what this lady is capable of. I am just here to clear two things. First thing is this woman is very insecure. If I comb my hair, she will read me into it. Oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. If I take a picture, she will read me into it. If I dress well, if I'm, my phone rings, problem. Everything I do, problem. Those of you that have been with people that are insecure can understand what I'm saying. But I'm not from a broken home, so let's make it work. Before the show, that's how she, she chases everybody around me. If you are a woman and you are close to me, my, my friend's wife, oh, she accused me of doing this, having something with her. My brother's uh, girlfriend, oh, she accused me of having something with that one. Fast forward the show to uh, post-show. She accused me of, sleep, of having an affair with almost every big brother female housemate. I'm used to it, so I, I, it's what she normally does. People don't know what this woman is capable of doing. The one time, another of my colleague, big brother colleague, so apparently the mom was in town and then I somehow I got to know that the mom was in town. So I said, oh, I'm coming to see mama. I'm coming to see your mom. And I told my wife that, oh, I'm going to this person's house to see the person's mom. Do you know how this woman spin this thing? She was, I'm sure she would have come online at that time too. But it was a different person. She was saying, oh, I'm having an affair with that person. I'm sleeping with the person. I've gone to do introduction to the mom. So that's how she is. People don't know. Because men don't complain doesn't mean that we don't go through stuff. I'm not an emotional person. I don't like to do pity stuff. So I don't I can't be complaining to anybody. But since she had decided to dance naked in the market, I'm still go, I'm still going to to choose my words carefully because at the end of the day, man. So she, she's so insecure. People, my colleagues can attest to this. Female colleagues, most of them don't relate with me again because, you know, if you come close to Kes, drama will start. And people don't want drama. People don't want drama. Because if you come too close to me, if you say hi to me, if you say, oh, let's hang out here, drama will follow you. Before you know, she'll be talking about you to everybody who cares to listen. Female colleagues can attest to it, but I don't want to call anybody's name. You people don't know the what this woman is capable of doing. She's crazy. 
She's crazy. I don't want to come here and I don't want to enter into the gutter with her. I just want to make points very clear. At her eye, I have never in my life, I don't have anything to do with any of my female colleagues. That woman, she, she can do anything to bring me down. I know who she is. And I will say it again, I have never in my life had anything to do with any of my colleagues. Never. I don't have anything whatsoever to do. Me, this is a, a person I went on the show as a married man. I fought my marriage from the one to the year I left the show. I spent four weeks. So insecurity is just too damn, it's too much. And look at what you have done. You have, you have brought me to social media. To, you have come to really call me on social media. So what's aim? What is the aim? What's the aim? Putting people's brand, people's name, people's integrity, rubbishing people's name. Because what? You want clout? You did a music and you want clout. Is that what it is? You want to post your new song? Is that what you are doing? Ruining people's lives, people's means of livelihood, tarnishing people's image. Because you want to, what, what is, to what aim? The worst anybody can do in this life is to marry the wrong person. And that's the mistake I, I'm sure that's the mistake I made. Maybe this is the chance for me to run away from my life because this, this kind of person that can do this kind of thing that she's doing, she can kill me. She can kill me.